Okay, we're just going to go over the Beckman rearrangement. The Beckman rearrangement is the range, rearrangement of an oxime into an amide. And as you can see in this particular example, which is, um, let's just put the proton back on there. In this particular example, um, it gives us a seven membered ring because we started off with a six membered ring. So we could imagine if you remember the retrosynthesis. We're we'll making this oxime here from a carbonyl, so cyclohex hexon uh, to uh, with addition of hydroxylamine, something like that. But we don't need to think about that at the moment. So just get rid of that. We need to have a look at the mechanism. How can we convert that into that? So here we go. First of all, we protonate this species here in acidic conditions. So basically we pick up a proton to give us one of the best leaving groups in the world probably the universe to give us water it's a leaving group that's an oxygen it's my drawing then what happens is these electrons here come in here and kick out water to give us this intermediate which looks very similar now to our final product what I'm going to do is is just so plus water H2O and this is positive charge here so it won't like that because that's where this group is just left yeah so if I just draw just label this up as one, two, three, four, five, and six, and do the same on the product side. You can see that this one was connected like that to one. Let's not do that because it looks a bit complicated. So 6 was connected to 1 and now it's moved on to nitrogen. Nitrogen doesn't like, well the carbon 1 like being like that. So that's going to exist in a resonance form with this. Although for this particular species that bond angle there doesn't look very good. Okay, so the overlap of the orbitals from this, I'll draw them on there, there you can see. The overlap of that orbital into the vacant um, sp2 orbital, which that should be, uh, won't, won't look very good. So it won't, it won't actually exist like that, probably. But this is a resonance form. And this, so that will give this is delta positive and this is delta positive here. Okay, but what happens now is water comes back and attacks at the positive side there. So you can imagine it attacking there, then the electrons go back. In fact, why, why don't we just draw that as a dotted alternative? This is the alternative one. Attacks a and back, yeah. It's the same thing. It's the resonance strip uh, form of the same thing. So it does that. Water comes back and then attacks there. I just scroll that up a little bit because we're getting very close to our final product now. You remember the final product there is a uh, six-membered uh, ring, a seven-membered ring, the amide called a lactam. Okay. So I'll draw that in now. I'll draw the product of this in a double bond oxygen with a one proton 
two protons. And we got no protons on there, but that's put the choice there. You have to sort your charge out. So now I'll go over to this product, which is exactly the same without that proton. So this is a seven membered ring still. Seven membered ring. So what happens now, if you remember the uh, uh, keto enotautomerism is exactly the kind of thing here, although it doesn't really want to be like that. So that'll pick up another proton. It'll lose a proton, pick up a proton. Some people protonate first and then sort it out. It, that's entirely up to you. Picking them up in solution is fine. They, there can be issues with um, suggesting that this actually occurs in a concerted fashion. It's not meant that way at all. If there's that many protons around it will happen. So we get protonated first and then react. But people like myself will do it like that sometimes. So what's the, as that tool tomorizes, what's the structure look like? Well, nitrogen's picked up a proton. We've lost a double bond there and we've gained a double bond here. We've lost a proton. We still got some remember drink. So we've got our product. And that is the Beckman rearrangement. Quite straightforward. Basically water leaves and water comes back, you get some tautomerism and that will give you your final product there. So the key things to remember are protonate your oxime, water leaves, water comes back, product tautomerizes to give the amide. And that is a Beckman rearrangement.